It's now time for the journal, WBGU TV's award winning public affairs program, with your host, Steve Kendall. This is where your community matters. Local people, local issues. Hello and welcome to Journal, I'm Steve Kendall. Among the many curricular and extracurricular activities available to students at Findlay High School is a rather unique group. It's called the Findlay High School Leadership Class and it focuses on student leadership and a lot of related initiatives. Uh, they're gonna be our guests for all three segments. We're gonna start out, first of all, we have the assistant principal from Findlay High School, Meg Simon. Uh, could you maybe introduce us to the two students we have here on the set with us? Okay, yeah, I, my name is Meg Simon and I'm one of the assistant principals at Finley High School. Um, we're here today with our teen leadership class. This is the first year that we've had this class at Finley High School um, and it's been a huge success. The opportunities that these students have and the leadership and ownership that they've taken over in our building, um, it's making waves not only in our building but within our entire community. So I'm really excited for us to have an opportunity to share about that today, but I'll let the students introduce themselves. Yeah, okay, yeah. So my name is Logan Wetz and I'm a senior at Finley High School. Okay, all right. My name is Maddie Cranebrink. I'm also a senior. Okay, so we've gotten kind of a real kind of brief overview. Talk about, about the organization. Talk about the class and why each of you maybe got involved and, and what you see is its advantages and its purpose. So this has been like our kind of pilot year, mm -hmm. as in the first year where we actually did this class. And when I first started hearing about it, the idea of it being like a leadership class based around like us actually being able to work towards what we wanted to oh. kind of drew me in. Mm -hmm. So I applied and like I'm here. So <laughs> okay. it was at first it kind of started off like we're getting to know each other and everything. And then we really got the ball rolling and all of us started coming up with projects that we wanted to do. And I think that's probably been my favorite part is that every project that we've done has been because someone wanted to do it. We weren't forced to do any of these projects. Okay. So you guys basically come up with the ideas and are able to implement them. It's not prescribed to you, hey, take on this, do this, that sort of thing. <laughs> so talk about, about your role in this and how you, how you see it. Well, as a member of the class, I started out not really knowing what I wanted to do as a project, but mm -hmm. as a second semester student, we had to take an initiative on our own project and pick something to do. Uh -huh. And so what I chose was, I called it Let Finley Dream. I started an organization and I've been working really closely with Mrs. Simon and the point of the project is to raise money to purchase beds and bedding for students at Finley that can't afford their own. Uh -huh. Okay. because I think that it's really important for every student to be able to get the sleep at night that they need. I know mm -hmm. that that's what I need for sure. extracurricular activities and grades and everything that I want to do. So I wanted to make sure that every kid got the right sleep at night. So. Ah, okay. Now, Logan, you mentioned you applied or you got involved. Is there a criteria for who can be involved in the, in the organization? So this year it was mainly juniors and seniors that were all in the class. Mm -hmm. And we're actually working on an application process for next year's class, as we're, and we're going to kind of interview them because we all had to do a virtual interview, and then we were selected to be in the class. Okay. Yeah. So not everybody can be. Is there a is there a limit on the number of students that can be involved? I don't. No? I don't think so. Yeah. I think just, the, the more the better. Just have to have a lot of ideas when you mm -hmm. get there. Um, are there some other things now? You mentioned the fact that everybody comes in with ideas that they get a chance to, uh, to basically, do you explain that to the other students in the organization? How does that work? Do you decide which things you're going to do? Well, usually it'll end up like someone just kind of has an idea that they mm -hmm. want to get through, and then they'll kind of start planning like, hey, how do I get this idea done? And how do we want to go about this? And usually they'll be able to like kind of tie in everyone else to help them on the project, oh. such as with Maddie's project those big projects aren't something you can do as one person. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's why we're able to bring like the whole class together and work on common projects. Oh, okay. Now, you talked about the fact, and, and I think you mentioned this too, Mrs. Simon, that uh, there's reflection through the community or ripples through the community. So how has that gone? Have you gotten support, for instance, for this project from the community outside of the school? Absolutely. We've gotten a lot of support from local businesses mm -hmm. and our Finley Rotary Club has supported us a lot. AJ's Heavenly Pizza, so yeah. sponsored our t-shirts and did a lot for us there and Marathon Petroleum has also given us a large donation oh, as well. Okay. Yeah. Now uh, what are some of the other things uh, I guess uh, I'll talk to you, I'll ask you this Mrs. Simon, uh, for a school to take this on and basically say we're gonna let the students take the initiative come up with the ideas 
sometimes that's a hard sell within the educational establishment. We're going to let the students run this. How, how was that, how did that kind of evolve its way through the system? Well, our um, kind of our main mission and focus at Finley, uh, Finley City Schools is relationships, opportunities, leadership, and empowerment. And I think that this class is essentially that. Um, we're giving these students the opportunity to um, explore leadership and what that might look like. And because it's such a hands-off approach and we're really empowering them to take right. the ownership, um, I think it's far surpassed our expectations. You know, we had some ideas of what we thought could happen when we um, kind of created this class, but what these students have been able to do and the ideas, um, it's kind of like we take the training wheels off and let them go, and, and what they do is just, it's incredible. Um, you can walk into that class at any given moment and you can see students collaborating. Um, you can see them shooting around ideas, um, they're planning, they're, they're the ones reaching out and sending emails to local businesses and, and they're, uh, they're making the phone calls and these are all skills that they're gonna really use post high mm -hmm. school. Um, so I think it's really those soft skills, the, the collaboration and the speaking and, and the things like even just them here right now, um, right. the opportunities that are created, it's all them, the ideas, everything. And, and it's cool because they get to see what is it that they wanna see a change in. So they look at our school and what do they wanna make better? They look at our community, what do they make better? And then they do it. And, and that's the really cool thing yeah. about it. Now, how often, and you mentioned the fact that you can, they get together, how often do you guys get together? Because obviously you have other things going on in your lives, school, that sort of thing. How often do you get together as a group to talk about all of this? So we actually have a class period actually built into oh, okay. our school day. Mm -hmm. So that's that 45 minute period where we're mm -hmm. actually all together in one room, mm -hmm. even though some of us have meetings, so that kind of draws us away. But mm -hmm. for the most part, we're all together in that one room, just kind of working. Mm -hmm. But a lot of us have to put in a lot of outside okay. school mm -hmm. time, especially with Maddie's project. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a big time commitment, I'd yeah, say. Yeah. Now, is, have you found that to be easier than you thought it was going to be, or has, that been, has time management been an issue for anybody? Well, I think that for a lot of us in the class, it hasn't been much of a challenge just because we all enjoy what we're doing so oh. much. Mm -hmm. So it's not really a sacrifice as much as it is something that we're willing to donate our time towards. Yeah, yeah, good. Now, when you guys sit around, and we've got a couple of minutes in this segment yet, when you sit around and kick all these ideas around, how does, I mean, is that just basically kind of like a big brainstorming session? Everybody just throws their ideas out there and, and you see which one people think, oh, that sounds like a good thing, let's get involved in that, or how does that, how does that work generally? Yeah, I would say that that pretty much sums mm -hmm. it up, yeah. and then when someone likes an idea enough, they latch onto it and then they can take the point on that and make it their own. Oh, yeah. So it very much is, it, it, there's leadership working here in any number of ways, mm -hmm. there's leadership within the group itself, but then each of you takes a leadership position with a particular project, generally mm -hmm. speaking. Mm -hmm. um, as you look back on your year so far, because you're like the, if the first group to do this, um, <laughs> is there anything that surprised you about it? Like, oh, we didn't think it was gonna be this, this time consuming or this, this much fun to do or anything so like that? So what surprised me the most mm -hmm. is quite possibly how everyone has grown since uh. the beginning of the year. Like most of us like knew each other at the beginning of the year, whether it be like closely or not really that close, but everyone has grown just extremely when it comes to like leadership qualities and taking responsibility and I think that's pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It surprised me how hands-on we actually got to be. I didn't know <laughs> how it was gonna work going in, obviously it being the first year and we, it's really a student-led class. When they say that it is, they mean it. They huh. gave us the power completely and said, make all of this your own and do what you want to do. Great. Well, uh, Maddie, Logan, Mrs. Simon, thank you so much for being on this segment. We're going to be back in just a second with more students from the Finlay High School Leadership Class, the Teen Leadership Class, here on The Journal on WBGU-TV. Thanks for staying with us here on The Journal. Our guests today are the Finley High School Teen Leadership Class, and we had a couple of folks on earlier in our first segment, and we've got some more students coming on in this segment and in our third segment. Um, I've got three more students from the class. Introduce yourselves so everybody knows who you are. Um, I'm Lauren, and I'm a senior. Yeah. I'm Carson, and I'm a senior. Yeah. I'm Claire, and I'm a senior. Okay. Now, as I heard in the first segment, Generally speaking, each of you has, individu has an individual project or something you've decided is, is something you're very interested in and want to see get done. And obviously everybody in the class is very empowered to do these kind of things. So Carson, let's talk about your project first off. So the class project that we're kind of working on right now is called H2O from 419. Oh, okay. We're working with our Interact Club, 
which is we work with the lo our local Rotary Club, mm -hmm. and we were talking about like international projects that we could start, and we had a list, and we saw like a lot of countries don't have access to clean water, and we're like, oh. everyone should have access to clean water. So that's where we kind of got the idea that we wanted to raise money to give to our local Rotary Clubs so that they could go and implement wells and water purification systems in places of need. Oh, okay. And when you, when you came up with that idea, what was the first thing, where was your first approach? The Rotary Club and then you used their resources to kind of expand out from there? Yeah, well they already send mm -hmm. people down every year. So like there would just be a nice way to kind of get our community involved and uh -huh. have a bunch of hands yeah. reaching out. Now, now what areas has the water gone to or the, or the idea for this? Are there specific areas that you've already been able to Usually uh, it's in product. Haiti where oh, they go okay. to, so mm -hmm. that's probably where they're going to go as well this uh -huh. next year. That's yeah, and that's obviously there's a lot. With, they're still recovering from the hurricane right. down there after all these years. So yeah. Now, uh, what about your project? Um, so I started the student ambassador program at Finley High oh, School. Okay. Um, we piloted this project with a local middle school, mm -hmm. and I came from that middle school. Um, and coming from a class of 50 or so kids to a class of over 400 ah. seems very intimidating <laughs> for a student. So we just, uh, they came to the high school and um, we gave them a tour and we talked about their feelings towards the high school and coming oh, okay. in. And I'm starting to do this project with new students coming in, transferring. Mm -hmm from outside schools. Yeah. So this is kind of an orientation to kind of remove the yeah. misconceptions or the preconceptions about what coming to high school there is going to be like, that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. So how is, how is that, I mean, what did you learn from that as far as when you were trying to explain the what, what it was like to be in the high school? Um, personally, when I first came, I was really nervous. Mm -hmm. And over these past four years, I've, be, I've gotten a lot closer to that school and I don't know. It's just been a lot of fun. Yeah, <laughs> good. And, and again, uh, you were able to take that idea and, and basically develop yourself and, and put it in place. Wow. How about how many students now have gone? Have you have you worked with on this in um, terms of students you've got run run through your project? Um, so far, I've only had one transfer student come through this. Oh, okay. um, but then we had thirty or so St. Mike's kids come oh, through. Oh, okay. It. Great, great. Yeah, and Claire, your, uh, your project? So I'm working on a project called Grand Friend, and it takes a group of high school students and pairs them up with a resident at one of our nursing homes. Oh, and okay. we, I chose to do Birch Haven, mm -hmm. and so there's a lot of residents there. And so I was working with the activities director at Birch Haven, and so we have about nine volunteers, and they all have their own resident to oh, okay. visit with and mm -hmm. just get to know. So it kind of gives them someone else to talk to you outside of everyone who lives in Birch Haven. Oh, okay. and, and probably for the people that participate, for the students, it's, it's probably an educational experience too to see yeah. what, what that's like. Yeah. yeah, I actually, my resident that I'm visiting, she has Alzheimer's. Oh. So it's kind of been an adjustment because I'm not used to someone who mm -hmm. forgets sure. frequently. Sure. So but it's a good experience. Yeah, yeah. Now, in, in each of your projects, like for instance, the, the, the H2O project, uh, what did you learn about the process of actually coming up with this idea and then imp getting it to implement? Anything that surprised you about how easy it was or how difficult it was or how complicated it, it was? Just that it's important to get everyone on board. Mm -hmm. Like everyone has to work together. You have to work with administration, with your peers. Like it's not just, you have an idea and you go for it. Like there's mm -hmm. a bunch of obstacles you have to go through first. Mm -hmm. But if you do them in order and you have the support of like the class, like your advisors, it's uh, it's not that difficult and it's worth it in the end. Yeah, yeah. And how about in, in your case too? Because because that's that's you know that sort of transitional thing is is, is a very delicate and difficult <laughs> thing for people to manage. So, how did you feel it it, it evolved when you when you started it? Um, just like Carson, you like you have to have everyone on board, the entire class. You have to have administration mm -hmm. um, backing you up on these projects, and it's just been like a challenge to mm -hmm. uh, get everyone on board. Right. Yeah. And 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 your 
project obviously too reaches outside into the community as well. Uh, was there any concern when you approached, uh, like in this case, the, the, the organization you mentioned, the institution you mentioned about doing this? Did they have any concerns about what, what was going to go on here at all? Um, I think the activities director there was really excited to get a program started with the high school uh, students mm -hmm. because they actually have a um, program with college students and they have a lot of high school students who work there but they don't have a lot that just visit with mm -hmm. someone and I think it's beneficial for um, our senior citizens to be able to make a younger friend essentially yeah, so yeah. well and, and probably I'm assuming that everybody learned from each other just like in all of these I mean the students the, the people you've talked with and and that uh, that that's part of this is that interchange of experience and ideas as part of as well and, and you mentioned too getting the support from the administration and that sort of thing. Um, have there been any, and this is kind of, any, any issues with that when you presented the idea, well, we've got some concerns, anything like that you had to overcome or not? Um, yeah, it, yeah, it's been like difficult communicating with administration, but yeah. like okay. they're all on board with all of our projects that we do and they're mm -hmm. very supportive and mm -hmm. I don't yeah. know, it's been well, that, and that's not that's that's the way institutions and organizations yeah, work a little bit. Yeah. So you're, I think, as, as Mrs. Simon said, you're kind of learning those kind of mm -hmm. skills to say, hey, look, when you've got an idea, here's the way you need to approach it. Here's the way you need to package it. You need to present it. You have to have those ideas together like that. Um, if you were going to talk to students who are going to follow you in this organization, what would be some of the things you'd suggest to them or ideas or how to approach it? What are, what are some of the things, why, why you should really get involved in this? Um, it's been a lot of fun and you just have to keep an open mind when you're coming up with new project ideas and don't be afraid to take on a huge project either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You also get a lot of opportunities to like make a change in your school and your community mm -hmm. and you get to like get closer with your peers and everything and administration as well like you walk into the office and like oh it's teen leadership course like they get excited to yeah. see you because they want to hear your ideas yeah, yeah. Great, yeah. I think it's good to get involved because I think it's open doors like into our community mm -hmm. I definitely think the high school has definitely been more involved in the community now because of this class mm -hmm. and I think it makes our high school look a lot better and shows that we really want to sure. get involved in the community yeah. yeah because I know you know and again from different generations we always look at, at people that are younger than us and go well you know they don't do things the way you know they're not this they're not that but this disproves that because you guys are doing the, you know the very thing that young people are supposed to do which is get involved in the community and 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 uh, enact change and get people involved in things so that's that's pretty impressive um when you when you first started out i asked this question to that first group too what surprised you about it anything anything that you were like oh my what have i gotten into anything like that that popped up or was it just <laughs> it was just all smooth sailing right no issues at all i definitely think mm -hmm. i i stepped out of my comfort zone uh, okay. so i do a lot of service but i've never spearheaded my own service uh, projects okay. so it's definitely changed me and I think I've become more leader-like, I would oh, say. Okay, yeah, what about, yeah. I think the school's been like more aware, like they've seen the changes that we've caused and they're mm -hmm. like, they're interested in what we do and like the things that we can do. So a lot of people are like asking us like, oh, like how did you do this? Or like, why did you do this? And I think that's interesting that like all of our, like our school's pretty big and people mm -hmm. are sure. noticing what we've done. Yeah, yeah, great, yeah. Um, I'm more of a follower instead of a leader, yeah. so this has definitely uh, uh, made me step outside of my comfort zone, and it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Good. Well, yeah, it's been very impressive. I mean, so I mean, I'm, I'm overwhelmed by both the, you know the, what you guys have talked about, and I'm sure we get the next uh, group of students on here. I'm going to be equally impressed. But thank you so much. You guys are doing wonderful things, and thanks for stepping out of your comfort zone and coming <laughs> on here today too. You know, it's, 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 it was a lot of fun, right? Yeah. Good. Okay, good. We'll be back in just a moment with some more students from the Finley High School Teen Leadership Class here on the Journal. Thank you for staying with us here on The Journal. Our guests today are the Finley High School Teen Leadership Class, and we've been talking with uh, students that are involved in that, and we have another group of them here. So kind of introduce yourselves, and then we'll talk about your involvement in your specific project. So go right ahead. My name is Lexi Reiser, and I'm a senior. Okay. My name is Megan Quaid, and I'm a junior. Okay. I'm Zoe Powell, and I'm a junior as well. Okay, great. Well, let's talk a little bit about, uh, let's start right here. We'll just go down the line. Talk about your project and how you came up with the idea and, and how it's all worked out. 
Um, I started something called the Finley, uh, the Finley Activities Council at our mm -hmm. high school. So it's a chance to bring student leaders from each activity, no matter if you're an extracurricular or sport, oh. to come together and bring changes at our high school. I know our amazing administration wants to slowly um, give students a chance to lead things in the high school, be it mm -hmm. projects or just the high school in general. We've tried to, they've been implementing the seven habits system or the leader in me system. So it's a chance to kind of see these things come into fruition. To fruition. Oh, okay, yeah, and you're? Megan Quaid, yeah, so Megan. me and Zoe Powell actually worked pretty closely with Mrs. Mm -hmm. Simon on the Turkeys for Trojans project. Oh, okay. It all started with one meeting with Mrs. Simon and then it kind of grew from there. We worked with a representative from Great Scott, which is a local like supermarket mm -hmm. in our town. Right. And um, we actually worked with them to figure out what would be in the boxes, how much the boxes would cost, and who we would be able to provide the meals for. Okay. Yeah. And we actually raised over $4,000, and uh -huh. we were able to have over 80 meals for these families in need. Uh -huh. And it was a really cool experience just being able to help people in need for Thanksgiving, because that's when all your family come ar comes around, mm -hmm. and you do everything together, and to eat a meal like that, it's... Yeah. Very important yeah. to us. Now, I, I thought it was interesting when you were talking about yours too, because obviously, a school the size of, of Finley City Schools and a high school has dozens and dozens and dozens of different groups <laughs> doing all kinds of things. Whether it's yeah. athletics, it's academics, it's extra, it's music, it's all those sort of things, theater. So, the idea of getting all of the people who lead each of those groups together is probably an idea that it's surprising no one thought about before. But this is a chance to kind of coordinate all of that and get everybody on the same page. Is that kind of what happens then with this or, or how does that work? Yeah, I set it up a lot like how the U.S. government set up. So you're, okay. so right. each activity gets its own representative and they get mm -hmm. to come to a once a month meeting and talk about changes they see in the high school or talk about amazing things their own group has done or get a chance to say that they need, a volu they need mm -hmm. volunteers for something. It's a chance to bring a lot more communication between the groups. Right and just uh, take stress off advisors and lead to a lot more student-led and mm. honestly fun high school. Sure. Well, and, and it probably too allows people to make sure that if someone's devoting resource, one organization's doing something, there isn't duplication or there's an effort to combine yeah. resources to make something even more successful. So yeah, it's, it's a great idea to get everybody kind of talking about the same things and making sure everybody's aware of what everybody else is doing. And, and that doesn't happen a lot in regular organizations. So if you guys can yeah. pull that off, that's great. <laughs> that's fantastic. Now, when you guys are talking about the uh, about this project providing meals, um, how did you become aware of that being an issue in the community? Was there was there something that said, "Oh, gee, look at this"? We never knew. Miss yeah. Simon actually came into our mm -hmm. class one day and introduced this project, mm -hmm. and me and Zoe, along with another student in our class. Mm -hmm found it really interesting and wanted to take it on mm -hmm. to be able to provide those Thanksgiving meals for families. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, now, what was the what was the process in, in kind of in a little more detail when you said, okay, look, we've got this issue, where do we start? What was the first thing you thought of? How do we go about solving this issue? Yeah, it was definitely a drawn out process. We mm -hmm. met with Mrs. Simon first mm -hmm. and then um, for Great Scott, we met with the man who mm -hmm. represented Great Scott. and. We went through all the steps like that, and then we started getting it out more, um, raising money, asking teachers to donate money, asking the um, community, mm -hmm. and as a community and a school as a whole, we really kind of wrapped around this together and raised a lot of money for these kids in need that mm -hmm. need nice warm meals. Now, now what were some of the, the methods you used to get the word out about this, to inform people about this so they could get involved and participate? We had a lot of posters around the school. Mm -hmm. We used a lot of our social medias oh, to kind sure, of get yeah. the word out to like our friends. And then also um, over announcements and mm -hmm. emails and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Now when you, when you talk about reaching outside into the community, was there any, was there any concern about that? Because that's something that, you know, it's, it's, it's a difficult thing to do to start going out to people and say, by the way, there's a need here, there's an issue, can you help us? Is that something you guys have ever done before or not? Not really, yeah. but I don't think, it wasn't too challenging, I don't no. think. We actually, what we ended up doing is we gave, a lot of the students in our class mm -hmm. had parents that worked at local businesses, so we actually oh. asked them to take envelopes home to them so they could then keep in their businesses to help raise oh. money. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, so it really was a, a, a able to expand the base yeah. quite a mm -hmm. bit on that too. Uh, now when you've brought all these groups together, uh, which is, is kind of a challenge in and of itself because you've got people with very specific 
goals for each of their organizations and reasons for existing, that sort of thing. Um, how do you go about managing all of that so everybody feels equally represented and equal uh, in, that, in that kind of a format? Mm -hmm. I give them an equal stance where it's mm -hmm. they gesture to me and I can call them to talk. So it's not everyone talking at once. Oh. And the, um, many members of administration are present there, so they do give the chance to hear needs and wants directly oh. from the students mm -hmm. as well as answer questions as needed. Mm -hmm. Now, is this, can this also, is this also a format or a forum to kind of bring concerns to the administration when they hear it from multiple multiple sources and just yeah. one group saying we've got a question about something but you hear a broader base is that is that part of this as well yeah our administration's worked very well with students over the years a few years back the administration heard concerns and ended up remodeling the bathrooms in the high school mm -hmm. so it's things like that that when students c are concerned about things administration's willing to fix them to make it better because ultimately the students are there for over eight hours a day and right. they want a oh, environment they're willing they can change and be a part of. Yeah, yeah. Well that, that's the one thing that's kind of impressive that uh, you know, the administration and the, and the school itself is comfortable with the fact that they can empower you guys to do it and obviously it's worked really well so the more the more comfortable they are the mm -hmm. more opportunities will uh, will take place for this. Um, is there anything if you were if you're going to talk about potential students or people that might want to get involved what would you tell them is the main benefit to have been involved this year in this organization, especially since it's the first year you guys are breaking new ground? Is there one thing you'd say, here's the most important thing you'll learn from this? I would say don't be scared to pursue your own project because they're going to see these projects that we've gone this year and they're going, and other students are possibly going to think, I have to meet that standard or I have to go above and beyond. But if you're passionate about something, it's this class, this opportunity is ultimately your chance to pursue what you want. It's your chance to make the high school something better on your own terms. Yeah, great, yeah. Kind of going off of what Lexi said, the opportunity to not only help the people in your high school, but also the people in your community, yeah. and kind of the connections you can make within your own community yeah. has been really cool. I agree with both mm -hmm. Lexi and Megan. It's a very neat experience to be able to go to one class where you can be a leader throughout your day and to do these different projects that all benefit people. Because being a part of something that's kind of bigger than yourself and stepping out of you for the people that really need this, it's very neat. Great. Very well, again, cool. these are all great, I mean, wonderful endeavors and initiatives you guys have put together. And congratulations on, on being so successful with this, with this new idea. And I guess one of the things, too, if, if there's somebody in the Finley community or if you're in a community in another town, with another school system, uh, you can contact Finley City Schools in the mm -hmm. Finley community with an idea say, hey, here's something maybe the teen leadership class would like to take yeah, on, or here's an issue we have. Definitely. So that's, that's open to that, too. Go so that's it. great. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on, and, and thanks to everybody who's been on from the teen leadership class at Finley High School. Uh, we appreciate them taking their time today to talk about the wonderful things they're doing. You can check us out at WBGU.org, and of course you can watch us every week here on WBGU-TV Public Television. We will see you again next time on The Journal.